Hi guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the Brazilian beauty Audrey Boff here. She lent me her gorgeous canvas to create this effortless on skin and then traumatic eye and everything else, but with all cream texture. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give my channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. As I mentioned in the introduction that this makeup look is for someone who like very little complexion products. The first product I'm using is the Laneige Lip Balm. This is the flavor is grapefruit. I like this one and uh, it's very lightweight lip balm. It's help to moisturize. You can be used as a makeup prep or overnight as a lip mask. The serum I'm going to use today is from Natura Prise. It's a diamond life infusion, innovative anti-aging lifting serum. Oh my God, the name quite long. This is a very beautiful serum. It's help to firm and brighten the skin tone. It's a concentrated serum, so you can use just a little bit with active ingredients such as biomagnet, nanosome, it's targeting fine lines and wrinkles. Our talent doesn't have anything, but it's great for anyone that concerned that. I think it's great. It's just preventative as well. Like for me, even I don't have any wrinkle, wink wink <laughs> but I still use anti-aging you know all those things it's just preventative and it's free of gluten alcohol and oil it's a beautiful serum and it's not sticky at all it's very light which is fantastic the next two product I'm going to use is what I've been start using recently myself and I thought maybe I should bring it here to film as well, just because I like the concept. So it is from the same brand. None of these are sponsored, by the way. It's the same brand, Natural Pisse. This one is the Diamond Cocoon Sheer Eye Age Defining Tinted Eye Cream. So basically it's like this. It have a tint. So as I mentioned, the makeup look I'm doing for someone who like very not too much on the complexion. So this have a tint already, so you see that. And it's actually, I'm a lot more tan, but when I put on, at first it have a little white cast, but then it blend out really well. It's an all-in-one anti-aging concealing eye cream, very hydrating. You see that it's covered already any dark circle or anything like that. A great thing about this I mentioned is it's self-adapting color. So most of the skin color, you still can use them. And it can be used as alternative to traditional concealer. It's free of gluten, alcohol, and oil as well. So you see that, so someone who doesn't want to wear concealer, this is a great way. So basically it's concealer and eye cream in one. For the moisturizer, this one also from Natura Pisse is a diamond cocoon sheer age defining tinted moisturizer. All these names are gonna drive me crazy. And this is the moisturizer I mentioned, the same idea as the eye cream. It is the daily moisturizer that combined with color correcting tint. So you see that it is also very lightweight it mimics your skin color. You can see that when I first appear on, it's a little lighter, but then it mimics your skin, so it look almost every skin color. I use it on myself, and I'm pretty tan, and it still works for me. And it's very sheer covered. So for me, basically, this is like a tinted moisturizer. So for someone who like to wear tinted moisturizer, and 
because it's have a moisturizer in there as well so you don't need to wear moisturizer at all you can see that it's, it's covered really nice sheer and i love it So as you can see that I apply it like a moisturizer because it is a moisturizer. It's a self-adapting color moisturizer. As you can see, it looks just beautiful on our talent here. We all agree that, you know, like we are surprised that it doesn't have SPF, but you know what? This is also a great way because when you use moisturizer, SPF, foundation or tinted moisturizer is so many layers so you could do is you can apply spf before you apply this one so that way you can still get your protection um, but then you get your moisturizer and tinted foundation at the same time you see that it's not fully covered but it gives you that radiant skin i think it's just beautiful i wear this the other night when I went for dinner and everyone asking me what did I use on my face and that was this one, the one I used. So if for someone who okay with like this is enough for their base, if you want a little more, you can put a little concealer as well. For someone who want very little complexion, like I'm talking about foundation, concealer and all those, you can just finish from here. I'm going to use the La Prairie Skin Caviar Complexion Perfect Concealer a little bit and I'm gonna do a little bit just to cover a little more and I use just a little bit more under the eye area this is a great concealer it is have a lot of skincare uh, benefit in there as well it does provide moisture while correcting and even out dark circle it's not heavy at all it covers pretty well but it's not like a um, product deposit which is the perfect the idea for the same concept we're trying to do it helps to reduce the puffiness it is buildable coverage you can see that it's just even the skin even more so the skin everywhere is like that and i'm just gonna add wherever i need to add with a little concealer so the whole look today i'm trying to use mainly cream products i think a lot of people they love you cream products on the skin they feel is forgiving on your skin texture and everything and uh, this is for people who love cream products a little bit around the nose just a little more coverage where the tinted cream earlier that couldn't cover keep in mind that the video i'm doing is all about just show you different idea different technique it's not about the products but if you decide to go for the product i'm using it's your own choice you know like i always mix between like luxe products and low end and i never really could look the price tag because a lot of the product we have are from pr package so i'm not here to sell the product i know someone just mentioned to me my team that the concealer on the higher price point but you still can achieve a similar look with the lower you know lower price point concealer um, but it's just an idea because this one here it does have a lot of skincare benefits so if you want to have that kind of concealer then that's a great one for you i'm going to use say beauty sun melt natural cream bronzer the shame use in medium just bring back some dimension because you know all the tinted cream and everything i use it does take away all dimension on the face so a little bit of this it gives you that natural finish and it brings back some dimension and I'm going to use just a little bit because Adrian looks gorgeous without anything. So we just use a little bit, just, you know, bring back the color a little bit. And the shade I'm using pretty natural. I, I didn't use, choose like a dark shade. So it's not really about contouring. It's just really enhancing. 
So mainly on the outer perimeter of the face, just around the jawline, cheekbone, hairline. This is also a great cream bronzer. It is hydrating and it is beautiful, very lightweight for you. I apply a little bit around the nose area as well. If someone who do not like any powder, you can be okay like this to go. But I always like a little powder to, to set the makeup because even you want really natural, a little powder to set is always keep the makeup longer. But if you really don't want any powder, I would recommend Refine Skin Finish Water-Based Loose Setting Powder. The shade I'm using is Light Medium. And this is a water-based loose setting powder. It's really like nothing on the face. So you have to use a puff or a brush, whatever you like like this. It is a moisturizing formula. It just helps to, you see, it just really helps to remove unwanted shine, but it doesn't deposit any more of the pigment in there. You can see that it takes all the shine out and it is very natural finish. Like I said, this is a perfect for touch up or if you don't want powder, this is a great one for you because it doesn't add any more deposit pigment in there at all. It just take out the shine for you. This is cruelty free formula. You see that? That's all I do. You take out all the shine and you don't have to do anything at all. And it gives you that cooling sensation on the skin as well. See? It looks great like that. As Audrey just said, you see that like when you use too much cream products like cream and you don't set them in this weather it looked like a little greasy right it looked greasy so as much as we love cream product you still need to set somewhat and if you really don't want too much deposit this is a great way you take all the shine out just like this kind of powder is fantastic for that audrey have beautiful eyebrow we can just leave like this put some brow gel and she ready to go but you know me i always like to jazz it up a little bit and play it a little more and i'm going to use two products from a new brand it's the first time i'm trying it's from the brand called brow aid and the first product is the definer brow pencil and highlight so basically one side is the brow highlighter here so you can use you know for around here and all the area that you want to brighten or I can even use right here to brighten or the inner eye to brighten you can use the same product and the second is the pencil the other product I'm using is the Hero it's a tinted brown mascara the both of the shades are medium if you don't catch what I say the name of the product or the shade of the product you can always go down to my description box we listed every single product for you first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the highlighting part so I put a little bit and this is perfect for when you want to do like the nighty look, you know, you're going to do that little highlighter under the eyebrow. I think this is perfect. So I'm just going to play with them because it's a new product for me as well. So I do a little bit like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit right here 
just to open the eye out a little more. And then I'm gonna fill in the eyebrow a little more. It's so fine that it's gonna help you to create this like perfect little stroke, you know? And the pencil does contain skin and hair nourishing ingredient such as macadamia seed oil, cacao seed butter, and sunflower seed extracts. So it's really healthy for the hair as well. If someone who concerned about, you know, losing eyebrow or you know, the eyebrow don't grow, this might help a little bit for you as well. You see that I do a little feel there a little more. And I extend them a tiny bit longer. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I actually like this brow pencil a lot. It's almost a waxy side, but it's not wet. It's not hard to explain. So it's more like a soft, right? It's, it feels soft when I, it so it's, it is actually very nice on. Yeah. But it's not, you know, sometimes it's soft, but waxy, wet, and it's hard to draw. I know it's like, it's kind of um, muddy to draw, but this is still like able to draw really nice, which I like. And this is the Hero Tinted Brown Mascara. I'm gonna use this to set the brow. This is long wear to help set the hair in place. And it is buildable formula. So you can just add on if you like to more throughout the day if you want to, without that flakiness that sometimes you set and then you go back and it's flake off. This one won't do it for you. There you go. For the eyes, I'm going to use these four products. The first product is just the Longwear Cream Eye Pencil. This one from Laura Mercier. The shade is Espresso. Espresso is very popular. I mean, this is like a very good brown, classic brown pencil that you can have. The second product I'm using is these two eyeshadow from Suku is Tone Touch Eyeshadow. It's like cream shadow, so this is like a darker brown, like a warm darker brown. And then I use also a little lighter color like this, just to blend in. I have it, so I just gonna play with them. And then the last product is one of my favorite. It's a Lancome Lash It Doll Lash Mascara. The shade is black. When you do eye makeup, you have to see what would I do to bring the best feature? So, Audrey, you see that her eye a tiny bit hooded like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring a lot of depth here just to lift this corner up. So what today, I'm gonna do one eye at a time so you can see the different each side. I put the brown liner on the lash line, mainly from the outer part. And you see that I do all the way up a little bit. Remember, this is long wear, so you have to blend fast as well. And you see, I like to use a long wear liner if I use a cream shadow, because I think it lasts longer Cold pencil, sometimes it just slide right off after you put the cream on. And then so I'm gonna do it right here a little more. I'm not worried about like how perfect the application is. I just really smudge it out like that. And then before it set, 
I just smut them out a little more. A little more right here. Okay, let's see. So next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a flat brush. I'm gonna do the lower lash line first. This is a cream shadow infused with oil. It's helped to hydrate the eyelid area. You can use this as eyeshadow base. If you use it's a powder eyeshadow and you wanna layer them for a longevity, you can do that as well. Or you can use this as an eyeshadow alone. See that, I'm gonna do that first. And I put a little bit here. You can use your finger as well. And put right there. And then what I would recommend is get the blending brush like this. This is where you're gonna really elongate and lift the eye. So I use the dark color. And you can really just pat in that area color and flip it out. And you know that like lighter bone here, I'm not gonna do a color. I can add the darker color there because it's gonna make the eye look even bigger. You can go back with your eyeliner. Just smudge it out a little more. And you see, I just tap, 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 and just blend it out. And what you could use is your concealer brush and just do like this, just help to clean the edge of here. Look straight for me, so you can see one eye. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So you see that just a little bit of the deep cream shadow, her eye really open and pop up. So the trick about hooded eye is that you see when someone have a brown bone like that, try not to make it even lighter. You see that I only use that highlight close to the eyebrow bone, so to divide out where the eyelid and the eyebrow, but I just darken that area because that's when you can see a lot of depth because remember, light color bring out, dark color make it in. So if this area, you make it lighter, you can make the hooded eye even come out more. So you see that I use the deeper color. So now, when you look her eye makeup, it's a lot more depth now. It doesn't have that hooded anymore. So you can see like, you can, you can play with them. I put a little more. And you could just play with them and you know, just tap, tap, tap. And you can see how much you need and how much you don't need. And you can, you know, it's cream. So it's very forgiving. So you can easy to play with them. And then you can leave the eye on the bottom like this, or you can, you with a leftover, you can do a little bit here. Just make them smoke it out a little bit, just a little more depth. And you see this is nothing in there and it just blend it out a little more. I'm going to cut the lashes off camera and be right back. 
I'm going to use two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower. This is the volumizing and lengthening long wear mascara, oil free. Long wear is not waterproof, so it does two different. They also have a waterproof formula as well. They have brown shade and they have like all the shades as well. This is just a regular black shade. So we plan to do natural skin and just enhancing makeup, but then her eye come out quite dramatic like this. But you know what happened? It doesn't look heavy just because it will use all cream texture. As you can see, the eye look quite dramatic, but not heavy, if you know what I mean. And you know, that's about makeup. Even I plan to do just a natural enhancing, but you know, I see that her eye looks so mesmerized with deeper and deeper and I keep add on. And I think it just, you know, her eye looks a lot bigger and she can carry makeup like this. That's why I keep playing more. So that's about makeup, just playing with them. And you know, you can do a little or less, it's up to you. And just, you know, it's a process, you just play with them. For the blush, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. The shade I'm going to use is called Worth. And this is the Weightless Formula. It's a very pigmented. I'm sure you heard it somewhere before. It's long wear. It does have a little coverage. So you use just a little bit, you see that. And I would use some with a brush like this. You can use a finger as well, but make sure it's just a little bit. It's go a long way. You see, that's all I need to use. And it's just beautiful. They have a lot of different shades so you can choose from any shades. You see, that's just gorgeous. And you see it only a little bit. And if you notice that I go the blush quite high up and really lift it up because I want to lift the eye up as well. So instead do down here, I do all the way here. I'm going to use a highlighter from Webman Atelier. This is called Lit Up Glow Highlighter Stick. The shade is Parlor. I could be wrong in pronouncing. I think this P-A-R-L-A, -A, so I don't know how you spell it. This is light coverage, it's high shine finish. You can use with a brush, you can use with a finger, you can use any way you want, on lips, on eyes, for extra sheen, dimension. You see that I just use a little bit everywhere. A little bit here, there. Just really want to help to bring out all the radiance on the skin. A little bit in the corner of the eye here. On this side as well. For lips, I'm going to use two products. The first product is from LH Cosmetic. This is crayon lip liner. The shade is cherry. And then the lipstick is from Monica Blunder Beauty. This is the Kissing Lush Lipstick Crayon. The shade is something like this. So it's almost like her lips, but really enhanced more. So it's not like I'm trying to go red or pink. You can see that it's pretty close to natural, but more enhancing on lips. That's the whole point. Because I think the eye is pretty strong already. So the lips, I don't want to go like too much of the lipstick lipstick. To start, I'm outlining the lips a little bit. And this is waterproof, lightweight and vegan lip liner. And it's also cruelty free.
This is very smooth satin lip crayon. I have to scoop it out. I didn't want to put directly in. You can use directly for full lips or you can use with a finger just for a softer effect. I'm going to use with a brush. It is infused with natural oil. So it's very hydrating. Such a beautiful shade, lip color. This is a beautiful color. I think it suits on a lot of different skin color. Even like pale skin or deeper skin, you still can wear this shade. I think it's really gorgeous. And the formula is very hydrating. It's a gorgeous formulation. I'm going to set the makeup with the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. That the final look guy. I hope you enjoy the look. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. I hope you have a good time. And everyone, please give us a thumb up for the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow our talent here, myself and my whole team as well on Instagram. Thank you.